Buongiorno. Today is Sunday, and I think the Pope might address the crowd at St. Peter's Square today, so hopefully he does that, and I'm on my way to St. Peter's Square. I've got to find shade anywhere I can. Yeah, I think the Pope might be here because I just got my bag searched, so it's a good sign. When I was in Rome the first time, I actually did see the Pope here. Well, that's my second time seeing the Pope, and I thought it was going to be a lot busier for the crowd, but uh, maybe summer holidays and everything, but uh, yeah, I snapped a few photos. So. I think I need to get out of the crowd, so I might go see a place called the Maxi. Fabiana told me to check it out. It was one of the options for the meetups, but I decided to go with Garbatella. So uh, there could be less people there, so I think it's a good idea. I also need to re refill on water. It's another 40 degree day, and I need to find a Nezzoni, a Nezzoni ASAP. There's a lot of McDonald's in Rome, but I mean, if you're visiting Rome, I don't know why you're going to McDonald's. Whenever you need an Azoni, there's never one to be found. Fabiana told me that there's an app where it lists every single Azoni in Rome. I think I made it, I think I may need to download that. Okay, my plan is to go to the Piazza di Polo, because I know that there's an Azoni there. Plus I think there's shade, which is important now. Then I'll regroup and try to get to the maxi. Where are the Nazonis? Oh, I, I needed that lift. Still in the hunt for Nazonis, but we're on the way to see the Maxi, uh, which is uh, great for architecture photography. Well, welcome to the Maxi. Uh, it's an art museum, I believe, and uh, there's free Wi-Fi, which is nice. So I actually downloaded the Nazoni app to find out where the nearest water fountain is, because it's getting really, really hot, and uh, uploaded some stories to Instagram. You know how, you know the deal. And going to uh, explore the Max, the Maxi, Maxi. This is definitely off the main tourist path. Oh wow! Well, I'm going to test out, to see how good this app is, finding these water fountains in Rome. Well, what do you know? Well, I'm impressed. The question is, can you get in? The answer is, you cannot. It reopens September 2nd, so we're out of luck. That wasn't very exciting at all. I um, guess I'm walking back now. Could take the tram, but I've never been to this part, part of Rome, so might as well explore. Yep, Rome is ghost town. All the locals have left. No one here. Oh, it's amazing what a half hour rest does. I'm energized and walking, I think, to Piazza Venezia, I think. I'm going to back at the Spanish steps. So I ended up Kind of on the outside of Rio Monte, but I kind of know where I am, so I know a cheap place for some pizza, and then maybe I'm thinking of Piazza Popolo for sunset shoot, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to show you some of the best gelato in Rome, Fabiana told me. It's really good, and it's not touristy at all, which is even better. I 
had the matcha green tea and stracciatella. If you're wondering, don't judge me. We are on to Piazza Popolo for sunset. Gonna jump on the subway and uh, gonna set up. Made it, now I gotta climb these steps. Made it, now for the view. Okay, a couple problems that uh, A is really busy so it's hard to find a spot to shoot and B there's no clouds so uh, not really much of a sunset but I managed to get a couple of shots that I can show you here. But yeah it's not a bad place for sunset, Piazza di Polo, if you're here check it out. And uh, I think I'm going to call this an episode and tomorrow is Monday so I think I'm supposed to be shooting with somebody tomorrow. We'll see if that happens. If it does you'll definitely see her and uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like this video, and we'll see you tomorrow in Rome. Peace. Fabiana said that there's actually like a special keyhole in this area that has a fantastic view of um, the Vatican. So that's where I'm going and uh, let's see if I can get a shot, hopefully it's not too busy.